Welcome to a mandatory update. This Bye. weekend is a long weekend in the U.S. of A. What is a weekend? Ian, you are not an old aristocratic British woman. You know what a weekend is. I'm the Dowager Countess, and there's mm -hmm. nothing you can say to change that. I guess you're right. What are you going to do this weekend? Uh, I'm going to see Slow West. Sounds good. I have no other plans. I'm going to play some DK Country Tropical Freeze. Oh. Or Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze if you're in Japan. They really? eliminated they the, country. the country. Yeah. Whoa. Like they tried to do to us in Pearl Harbor. Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto, and Five Nights at Freddy's still stand tall as the top three most viewed video game franchises on YouTube. This all just stands as a testament to humanity's horrible, twisted nature, with our obsession with crime, murder, violence, evil robots, and beautiful, boundless creativity. According to documents released by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, it's possible that terrorist leader Osama bin Laden used the game Delta Force Extreme 2 to train his fighters in the art of war. No one knows why he had those copies of Little Big Planet 2, though, but sources point to the redesigned creation tools and witty and imaginative storytelling. Civilization Beyond Earth's expansion Rising Tide is coming sometime this fall and will focus on water tiles, naval units, and aquatic gameplay. You know, all the stuff you think of when you think of sweet space games. League of Legends players will soon have the option to turn off some of the more cosmetic animations surrounding characters in the game. In a forum post, a Riot employee wrote, We added the option to disable things like butterflies, dragonflies, and the water wakes to help competitive players focus on what they care about the most, the sexy costumes. One adventurous couple took their travel footage filmed across eight countries with a chest-mounted GoPro camera and turned it into a retro video game style video, complete with stats, select screen checkpoints, and high scores. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. Just a really cute idea. Oh, go to hell. What's going on here? It's, it's the, the ghost, ghost of Jeremy Hoffman, Hoffman former, former producer of Game, Game Trailers TV, TV with Jeff, Jeff Keighley, Keighley and, and boss of Mandatory Update, current video producer at Epic Games, amateur chef, dog lover, and Diners, Diners Club card holder. You're not a ghost. It can't sp 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 speak! But you said you were dying! No, I said I was moving to North Carolina, guys. You might as well be dead. I'm not a ghost! I don't know Jeremy Hoffman's ghost. You're acting pretty ghosty. I'm in town showing off Fortnite for like E3 stuff. What are you guys talking about? Look out! He's got a set of car keys! No, I don't. It's a gun. Oh, okay then. Fortnite. Fortnite. How come we've never made fun of this game before? Probably because it's really good. That can't be it. As the B-roll uh, you're currently editing over me demonstrates, uh, this is an awesome game. It has everything. It's co-op, you explore, you defend, you build these awesome bases, and then you fight away these monsters with your friends. That sounds pretty good to me. I remain skeptical. Not because of the game, but because I still think you're a ghost. Fair enough, but I didn't come here to talk to you guys about Fortnite, or uh, to convince you I'm not a ghost. I'm here to finally cancel this show. Oh, oh no! You, you can't, can't do, do that. that! Can't I? Uh, here! We keep a mandatory update cancellation contingency fund going just for this reason. Will you accept this giant novelty oversized check for $35? I will. Pop this up, take it home. You win this time, mandatory update. Love you, Jeremy. Love you, Jeremy. Another day, another bribe to a former employer. That's the mandatory update way. Yep. If you're interested in entering the Nintendo World Championships, then camp out at one of eight Best Buy stores across the U.S. for your chance to compete and qualify this May 30th. The qualifying winners will all go head-to-head -head at the June 14th final, facing off against recently hired Nintendo ringer Doug Bowser. What, did you think he was good at business or something? No, he's just really good at NES Remix Championship mode, duh. Nintendo CEO Satoru Iwata will miss E3 for the second year in a row, this time due to pressing business in Japan. The pressing business being that his only black suit got dirty. He's living the one suit life. The DICE team working on Star Wars Battlefront visited many of the original filming locations of the movies to recreate the landscapes in the games. We don't have an exact number at this point, but we can only imagine how many Tauntauns had to die for the DICE team to stay warm. They found their visits to the shooting locations of movies 1 through 3 a lot less helpful. 
a tiny 12 second teaser for Bethesda's upcoming Doom game debut this week. We don't see much other than a skeleton warrior with a shoulder mounted machine gun rig. So basically exactly what you'd expect from a new Doom game. The Need for Speed franchise is getting a reboot this fall in a game simply titled Need for Speed. The 22nd game in the franchise, Jesus, promises deep customization, authentic urban car culture, and a nocturnal open world, and an immersive narrative that pulls you through the game. It's the only other way to pretend to be someone else while navigating dangerous city roads at night unless you become an Uber driver. Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar's parent company, filed a lawsuit against the BBC over the broadcaster's unauthorized 90-minute drama Game Changer that documents the origins, growth, and controversies of Rockstar games. Including the lawsuit, the parent company Take-Two Interactive filed against the BBC over the broadcaster's 90-minute drama Game Changer that documents the origins, growth, and controversies of Rockstar games. Including the lawsuit, the parent company Take-Two Interactive filed against the BBC over the broadcaster's 90-minute drama Game Changer that documents the the origins, growth, and controversies of Rockstar Games, including the lawsuit the parent company Take-Two Interactive filed against the BBC over the broadcaster's 90-minute drama Game Changer. A Brazil costume pack is bringing three new costumes to Mortal Kombat X that will celebrate the country's culture, including a soccer costume for Johnny Cage, a capoeira suit for Liu Kang, and a gaucho setup for Kung Lao. This, of course, is an act of mutual respect after that Brazilian referee stabbed a player and then was decapitated by an angry mob two years ago. Real life fatalities are practically my favorite thing, said Ed Boon, notorious freak. Razer unveiled its new gaming mousepad, the Firefly, a $60 mat that delivers 16.8 million color options. Aw oh man, my mousepad only glows in 12 million colors. I'm such a fucking idiot. Blizzard is hosting a selfie scavenger hunt contest in World of Warcraft. Each week, Blizzard will post a new image, and all you need to do is figure out where the picture was taken in-game, head there, take a selfie, submit it to the contest page, go into the bathroom, approach the mirror, take a good long look at yourself and ask, is this who I am? Is this really what I want to be doing with my life? Answer yes, take a second selfie of yourself in the bathroom mirror and tweet it at Blizzard with the hashtag wowed and proud. The lucky winner will get a trip to BlizzCon. Here's a new stir story you may not have heard before. <laughs> Civilization Beyond Earth's expansion, Rising Tide, is coming sometime this fall and will focus on water tiles, naval units, and aquatic gameplay. Did you hear that, Brohams? Surf's up at Civilization Beyond Earth! Oculus founder Palmer Luckey was recently questioned about whether or not there will be censorship on virtual reality porn being developed for the device. Luckey says, The Rift is an open platform. We don't control what software can run on it. And that's a big deal. Woo! said everyone else. Spring break! Spring break! Spring break forever. Executive VP of mobile Frank Gabo has left EA after more than 20 years with the company. What? This can't be happening. Some somebody get him back. Somebody has to get Frank Gabo on the phone. We can't. Nobody's running mobile. Ah! <laughs> As Konami continues to shift toward the gambling sphere, sources say the company is ecstatic that skill-based gambling is now legal on gaming machines in Nevada. Skill-based payouts can now incorporate more traditional video game features, meaning Konami or any publisher could design games that utilize gameplay mechanics. They could, but Konami has decided that that would A, take an amount of work, and B, make too much sense. So instead of making skill-based gambling games, they're going to burn some of their offices down, blame it on Kojima, get the insurance money, use a portion of it to have Kojima killed while awaiting trial for the arson case, use the rest to buy an island off the coast of Florida, burn that down, blame it on Kojima's ghost, and spend the rest of the money to hire Frank Gabo to run mobile. Interplay Games, the studio behind Fallout and Baldur's Gate, revealed that they had previously been working on a video game for the awesome film Mad Max Fury Road, but the project met its demise when EA got wind of the deal. EA then offered director George Miller $20 million for the rights, and soon the Interplay deal was kaput. Of course, we all know that the EA project never saw the light of day either, and a Mad Max game is now in development at Avalanche Studios. EA is like that guy who sort of dated a girl for a couple weeks, then ditched her, and then as soon as he sees that you and she are dating and might be happy, he swoops in and is all like, oh, I love you, here's a trip to Costa Rica, and totally ruins it for you and doesn't even end up with her anyways. Whoa, that happened to you too? No, I, I think you were supposed to read this one. Oh no, see, I wrote this one for you to say. See, even this thing I'm saying right now is written on the paper. Oh, yeah, I see that. None of this makes any sense. Hey, that's showbiz.
City Skylines 1.1.0 patch is live, adding tunnels, new buildings, new starter maps, and smaller cosmetic additions and bug fixes to the city building game, all with a European theme. Here to comment on his excitement for the new hearse improvements is a picture of Don smiling. Thanks, Don. That's for the show this week. That's for the show this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Good night and good game. I'll be visiting my speech therapist this weekend. Oh, good. Among other therapists. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, on Mike's birthday, I'm gonna call him as, as Smeagol and Gollum. Okay. Oh, Master Hubo, you want to wish you a happy birthday. No, filthy Hubo's is. <laughs> Do not deserve birthday days. Birthday days. But he loves us. <laughs> Master Hubo wants to take birthday days for himself. <laughs> Nintendo CEO Satoru Iwata. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Japanese I just picture my body just like shutting you know, the, the little guys in my head are like, what's happening, sir? All your vital oh, he's trying to say a Japanese thing. <laughs> your vital oh my organs. god. Vital organs also shutting down. Yeah. His liver stopped functioning. It's a Kenji. Drop all power from the kidneys. Kenji Bring it to the Ash, Just get on the Ashton? forum. What are you doing here? Just get on the 405 and get out of here. <laughs> oh. What? Should I do that again? What are you doing here? I love when they go, Tre? Tre? Never saw the light of day either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch the mouth. So the Scratch the mouth, the cover the idea. flub. Scratch the mouth, cover the flub. <laughs> if I do this, you can cut yeah. me together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, uh... <laughs> The international symbol for flow shit. <laughs> flow shit! And the Mad Max game is now in development at Avalanche Studios. Avalanche. Sorry, you guys. Avalanche. Yeah, I knew you were gonna make a big fucking extravaganza about that. <laughs> one.